Hey kids, how's everybody out there in YouTube land today, huh? So uh, this is a collaboration I'm doing along with Copperhead Road Homestead and we're going to talk about what is our favorite animal on the homestead. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm, a place where you're always welcome. Come on Lily, let's go feed. So for me, I am going to be talking about my duckies and why I prefer duckies. Uh, for Copperhead Road Homestead, I think he's going to talk about his piggies, and he's got some really cool piggies. In the description down below, I'll put a link to his uh, channel, and at the end of this video, I'll put a, you know, a thing up there for you to click on to go look at it. Uh, but really cool folks over there, a great channel, he's put up lots of good content, nice young family, homesteading the hard way. Uh, you might want to check them out, Copperhead Road Homestead. Anyhow, with that said, well, let's start talking about ducks. Hey kids, today on Grandpa's Farm we look at the wonderful world of ducks and why I love to have ducks on the farm. Here we look at some white-crested Swedish ducks. Ain't they cute? You see on the back of their head they have a little white yarmulke? They are not Jewish ducks. They're Swedish. And these Swedish ducks have this little puffy thing on the back of their head. When these guys get bigger, they'll be all white. Here they are at day two in their life. We just got them from the hatchery. We got to get a heat lamp and some food and water to these guys pretty quickly. You know, I really like having ducks on the farm because of their ability to provide really good quality meat. Also, I love to use their fat after rendering. It's great for frying. They also grow very, very quickly. Here they are day five and I've already moved them out to a pen. No, I'm not beating them with their food dish, but I am trying to herd them inside where the heat lamp is so they can get warm. I also like using ducks for their feathers. Uh, I like to take the feathers when we pluck them and we grind that into a feather meal to add to the garden. And of course the down is awesome for, for pillows and blankets and stuff. Now in this video here you see this is day 13 and they're almost the size of those two gallon waters. Ducks convert and grow very quickly, faster than even the best chickens. They're also great insect eaters. They can do a good amount of weeding in the garden, but mostly I love ducks because of their ability to lay eggs. You know, the right breed of ducks will actually lay more eggs than most chicken breeds will, which makes them really convenient to have on the farm. You've got the excellent egg production combined with their ability to provide with down, which of course chickens can't do for pillows and such. The fact that ducks can also eat some bugs and do some weeding, provide great eggs, and of course that peep, peep, peep will very quickly turn into a quack because they convert very well. Here they are. This is day 38. They're already full size and ready to go to market. Really give ducks a serious consideration for your farm. If you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Another thing I really like about the ducks is the way they get along with all the other poultry on the property. Oh, this is my farm up there in Alaska. You can see the ducks here with the turkeys, with the chickens. Now, they do make a mess. You, if you contain your ducks into a small area and you concentrate the feed and the water in one area, they will make a mess. But they also like playing around in the garden. And frankly, they're just really fun to have. I enjoy sitting around looking at them. I do a little experiment with the water. I'm submerging my camera into their water dish. See what it looks like from underneath. <laughs> Let's see that again in slow mo, huh? You can see they waggle their beak back and forth. When they eat, they have to put their beak in the water to clean themselves off. This is why they make such a mess. That's all right. I love my duckies. See the mess in the water dish? That's from them cleaning off all their food out of their beaks. The little dog you saw there, that was uh, Taffy. She had a little chihuahua. They hear the water filling up in the dish and they come running. Uh, 
Now you notice when we had the ducks contained in a smaller area, they turned it all to mud. So if you give them a pretty big area to roam around in, and you do their watering up on concrete like this, where uh, they don't make a mess right around that, they can actually keep their yard looking pretty good. They will go around and eat bugs and mosquitoes and stuff, flies. The ducks are much better eating flies than chickens are. Uh, and, and they uh, eat grubs and stuff in your garden. Now these are my rowan ducks and there's also a breeding pair of silver apple yards. You can see the drake there, the second one on the right, and the hen is the one in the middle in the back. Those are the silver apple yards. Those are really prolific layers. They'll lay 260, 280 eggs a year. The rowans tend to lay about 140 to 160 eggs a year. They look like big mallards. They look like big fat mallards to me, wild ducks. But you notice here we are in an urban environment. You can have ducks in the city because ducks don't crow like a chicken would. They don't make a lot of noise. All you over here is the quacking. So the neighbors don't get bothered by it. Beautiful iridescent blue colors on their wingtips. Ducks are equally as pretty as any chickens as far as color and the plumage. Let's go to the poultry show and check out some different varieties of ducks. All right, guys, these are the uh, silver apple yard, just like the ones, the pair that I have at home. This is a Saxony duck from Saxony, England. Good heavy body, about the same size as a Rowan. Neat bird. This one's a character. Yeah, this is a buff. Buff, B-U-F-F. This is a Cayuga. Beautiful black with green sheen duck. Beautiful duck. They lay very dark eggs. Absolutely gorgeous. Almost black. Oh, man, some call ducks. Some call ducks. <laughs> this is a magpie duck. See these black and white colors? It's called a magpie. <clears throat> yes, here's a Muscovy duck. You can see how big they are. Look at the head on him. That's a Muscovy duck. Look at the size of this Pekin duck. I've seen smaller geese. You're a big old boy, aren't you? Wowzers. Hey, Steve, did you miss my text? Okay. Now these are Sebastel geese. These aren't a duck, these are a goose. But they have this frizzled feather effect. Really uh, beautiful to see out walking around your yard. Hello, duckies. Hello, ducks. Well, that poultry show was loud, wasn't it? And again, here we are in an urban environment. Lots of traffic going by. Lots of houses nearby. These ducks are perfectly at home. Now usually my ducks like for me to give them a shower. I make it rain so they can wash off, but apparently not today. I guess that, uh, that shower was too much for him. Last year for my birthday, I bought myself that incubator. What a piece of garbage it turned out to be. I was doing a collaboration with another YouTube channel where he had sent me down some duck eggs to hatch, and I had a complete failure because my incubator wasn't worth a darn. Now, surprisingly, I'm going to end this video with a little clip of my new biddies that I just got yesterday. 
uh, I'm sorry, Monday, the day after Easter. Uh, these are my Easter egg or chickens. So for those of you out there that are crazy chicken people, don't feel offended that I prefer ducks over chickens. I like both. However, ducks are my favorite for many reasons. One, they lay eggs just as well as chickens. Two, they're just as bright and colorful as chickens are. Three, they put on size and weight and get up to production uh, meat harvesting size just as quickly as any of the Cornish Cross roasters. So they've got a good food conversion rate and a good growth rate. Um, I like them in the garden better than a chicken because they don't do so much damage. In an urban environment, such as where I'm at here in Lancaster, Ohio, they do not crow. So the neighbors aren't bothered by a rooster crowing at all hours. Uh, plus, when you process them, you get down from the feathers, which can be used for making uh, pillows and what have you. Uh, so there's there's a number of reasons why I like ducks, obviously, better than chickens. They both are excellent uh, poultry. They both deserve a place on your homestead. So with that in mind, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Please do like and subscribe and, uh, and share the videos. Please do share the videos with friends of yours. That's the best way to get uh, more expanded use of this. Now, like I said at the beginning of this, this is a collaboration with Copperhead Road Homestead. Here's a link to their channel. Please go over and check them out as well. This is a collab with their channel. So we're both doing videos on what is our favorite animal to have on the homestead. Thanks, folks. Have a good day. How about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all sure make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in Zay mouth. I be a toad sucker knowing a duck it. Just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.